Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to answer this question. What is the delay validation property of data flow task? Why does one use this property? So let's go to the SSDT of bids and take a look. So right now I have SQL Server Data Tools and I'm, uh, I have created a one empty package called package one. So let me bring data flow task here. And then I will go to, I'm going to bring execute SQL task here. I'm going to bring a for each loop container here and then I'm gonna just connect them. And I have one connection manager here. So let's uh, start with the uh, tasks. So if I right click here, go to properties, uh, there is a property called delay validation and it is set to false. If I go to another task, I will see the same property set to false. If I go to container, I will see the same property set to false. Now go to the connection manager and go to properties. So what we have here, we have delay validation set to false. Now we are going to go on package level. If I will uh, right click in the control flow pan and go to properties, that's going to show me package properties. So there we have delay validation and it is set to false. So this property is available on tasks. Is It is available on containers. It is available on the connection managers and it is also available on package level. So. Uh, as of uh, default, uh, it is set to false. That means uh, when uh, our package is going to start, uh, it is going to validate uh, everything. It is going to validate the tasks. It is going to validate the containers. It is going to validate the um, connection managers. It is going to validate each and every part of the package. And uh, that's how it will work as delay validation property is set to false by default. Now, <clears throat> consider this one. If uh, I build my connection manager or connection string for my connection manager by using uh, this task. So let's write this build get connection manager from table. So what is going to happen? We are getting uh, the connection manager values from a table and putting in a variable then using that variable here in uh, this connection manager. So if we will uh, leave everything as a default that means delay validation to the false it is going to validate uh, this connection manager when the package will start and it will fail because there is no value or there would be no value available to this connection manager when uh, we will start the package as uh, the value will be set uh, by using the second uh, uh, task uh, that will read from the web table and then uh, put the value in the variable and uh, then we will set the um, connection manager by using that variable. So if uh, we have another scenario, let's say I'm creating a, a temp table and I'm using that temp table in the data flow task. Now what is going to happen? Right now the properties are set to false and uh, the the the, uh, the first um, when the package will start uh, uh, it is going to fail because uh, that it is going to try to validate the table name the temp table name for data flow task one and that will not be available because we are using uh, uh, this execute sql task uh, to create that uh, let me yep so that that's the reason uh, if we will leave this one as it is uh, the package will always fail because uh, it will try to validate the temp table and that's not created yet so what we can do we can set the property uh, delay val validation to true and uh, we will that will ignore the validation and when it comes to the data uh, flow task one uh, it will validate and by the time it will have the table so it will load it so that's where you can ignore the pre uh, validation uh, and uh, when your package start, you do not want to validate connection managers. You do not want to do uh, validate um, um, tasks or um, or the loops. So what you can do, you can set the, this property to the true, and that's how you will ignore them. And uh, and you can set those properties uh, uh, later on in the package. And when uh, they will be uh, your package will get to that task, uh, and by the time it will have that value, and it will be validated and used by the package. Package. So th th these are the common uh, couple of scenarios I told you and there could be multiple scenarios where you will encounter this. This is an important property. So uh, just remember that the label validation by default is set to false. So it has to validate everything before the package run. If we will set to 
True, it is not going to validate those components uh, that can be tasks, uh, that can be containers or connection managers uh, till it will not be going to just use them. So we, we can have that uh, um, advantage uh, of this property and create uh, our objects uh, in the package and uh, they will not be validated till they will not be really, uh, you know, package will not get to them. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video.